Look at this, the giant stone in the Inca Empire. How they were perfectly fit each other. Probably they used the acid to melt them together. There are rare places where you really look at closely to those stones. You will see things like the crystals in the andesite are almost stitched together along the seams. Like the andesite around it is melted and the crystals haven't. And there are other places where there are weird webs on the wall, like it's just melted, like somebody took a rag and wiped it while it was soft. A lot of people talk about the Inca giant stone was made from the soft stones. They used to be soft, then turn it to be the hard. But probably they used the acids, hydrofluoric acid. The hydrofluoric acid is so fascinating. You know, it won't go through plastic, and you can also bring it in the inner part and then combine it. The Inca made tons of jewelry out of fluoride. Fluoride is big in the Andes, and they also mined a lot of things for gold and silver. And the byproduct of that mining is sulfuric acid. You put sulfuric acid and the fluoride together, and it is hydrofluoric acid, and that will burn through andesite or anything. And if you learn how to use it, you know, judiciously, then you didn't care whether you or other people lost an arm or two, then you could actually use them to fuse the stones together. If you like this video, don't subscribe to support. See you next time.